Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time I'm gonna cover the topic of scripts. So what you're seeing in front of you is just basically a script being applied to the player. So I can just move around with the player or for example a script is like doing this effect which is just hovering and uh, this is the ease function basically if you want to have that link in the description and Scripts have some multiple really cool uh, applications and they are a must for every programmer. So if you want to know how to do that in GameMaker Studio, stay tuned. This is OneUp Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video so let's get right into the good stuff so basically uh, scripts look like this and they have a very specific color here we go so the this kind of what is it orange brownish something and scripts are being called and for example the way you call them is you write in their name and then you have those two brackets and then of course semicolon to Close it off. For example, if I wouldn't be doing this, then Game Maker would say, My friend, this is wrong, you cannot do that. And that's why we put it back. So, this is how scripts are being called. Of course, you can do something like this, which I find uh, amazingly useless, but this function actually works. You can put, um, you can do, say, script execute, and then you execute the script in there. So, SCR <laughs> input. Um, yeah, no idea what they put in, but of course you can put your script into this script execute thing, but or you can just call it, eh, so <laughs> no idea what that is good for, maybe it has some really great applications, but I don't see it for now. So basically just this is how you run your script, and that script, what it is doing, let's say for example press F1, bam, then it opens up, and this is just calling some stuff and saying, hey, I am pressing left or right. And and if I'm pressing left or right, so this is a zero or one, and this is being checked by those other scripts. And as you can see, they have the same color and these scripts are pre-made by GameMaker. Of course, you can make your own, but these ones um, are kind of the same. And as for example, if you what, press on one, then you can actually see uh, on the bottom here keyboard check so basically this is how it's called and then key and this just means that you have something which you need to enter and they just called it key and I will show you how you can do that by yourself so this is just um, making some notations so the the program knows okay this is called key or this is called whatever and then you maybe have to put in some parameters because here a parameter which is the thing you put in is required else this whole thing is not working so this is just for you and if, for example you have two parameters here this zero just means for example because this is a gamepad check hey this is gamepad zero is it plugged in and and i'm pressing the pad left hopefully I did that yeah that this is the left one now for example here phase one this is one of those buttons i guess that's the green one on an Xbox controller. So this is the same. So these are scripts as well. For example, let's go into my test. So you can just go into scripts, open it up, and then of course you can make a new one. Or here you can um, do a few things. And I will just go theoretically and then I'll show you some application to that. So what you're seeing here is um, first of all, you can give it some description if you like. So you make like three dashes, then add description and add param. And this add param is the more important one. Why is that? Because um, the thing I just showed you in input. So if you, we're hovering over and we are pressing on one of those, then we get a description. What kind of parameter we have to put in. Then it says device and button index. This is exactly the same. This is just the param. So you can define it and then for example once you you use this um, script somewhere later and you just made your uh, annotations here 
then you know, ah, yeah, I need to put in these and these things. So you can have multiple arguments put in there or just one. This is just up to you. I guess it is limited to 16 or 15. So um, don't nail me down on that. I'm not sure, but not too many. This is a little bit limited concerning the uh, input arguments. And for example, one of those arguments, you can say, for example, variable AB and then argument and arguments are those things which are passed in into the script which was for example the reddish stuff here which are those constants um yeah no 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 i'm completely wrong here so this is how you can do that for example this would be the first argument of course you can write it like this it doesn't really matter it's, it's basically the same you can write it as an array or something else and then then you can do something and the other thing is you have a return so basically what you can do in a script is just process some stuff and then it for example in my object uh, my dummy player here it will just say hey am i pressing right then it will be one or zero or if i'm pressing left then it will be one or zero and then i can actually adjust my movement to that so this is what this script does but of course you can do something else not just change the stuff because once the script is being called in one an object it has like access to the object which it is inside but of course you can use it in i don't know in your step event you can use it even in the draw which is not a good idea because the draw events are the most well expensive ones in game maker studio but of course you can do that or you can uh, run a script at the create event so these things are just put in stuff like variables if you like to compare them to variables which you can just put in and use for some stuff and reuse them this is the idea behind it so for example the input is not too re reusable because it's just applying to one player and then we're pretty much done so this is not good but there are other applications and now I will show you. So here, just I will just go with the theory. So let's go and say, make a second variable. And then of course we can do the second argument. And then for example, maybe you do some coding here and maybe you want to actually return something. And this is the, the interesting part. Return just means, hey, I want to maybe return a B or whatever. Now this code makes absolutely no sense, but Maybe you want to call a script and then return a value back. So basically what you could do is, uh, let's say, var return to value. I just made it up and then equal it to that thing because, and now it says, hey, I need two values. So I don't know, one and two and then for example i would run the script every time and then it would would it store in this so this is what a return value is good for or if you want to make it a little bit more complicated my one of my favorites the ease in and ease out function link in the description if you want to use them and here you have a value which is being manipulated all the time and you have four values and the function is a little bit more complicated but it does one thing which i really really like a smooth uh, movement or a smooth um, interpolation between two values you can see this looks really nice and you can use it for hover effects and other stuff and let's go for example into that as you can see it has no real annotation so um, if we for example press on this guy you have no description so this is a little bit lackluster Ah, because I did that. <laughs> okay. Um, but you, as you can see, it gets four arguments. Then it processes, does some really tricky mumbo jumbo. And then it, in the end, returns one value, which is being stored in this hover variable. And then we get this nice hovering effect. So this is basically it. These are uh, scripts, very, hopefully very easy to understand. So what you have to basically just take away, you have empty scripts which just run and do some stuff. So this is, for example, the input thing. You just run it and then it does some external code. One usefulness. Then, of course, Game Maker pre-made scripts. So there are lots of them. For example, I don't know. What else do we have? Let's say lerp. As you can see, one of my favorites, lerp here. 
predefined or for example let's go back in this uh, thingy here then one for example where you have arguments so you pass in some stuff and you need to pass in for example once you define those things you put them then maybe you get an error and then you return something which you want to store in the variable so hopefully that was of interest to you and you didn't get too confused by my ramblings here um and that was pretty much it have a good one one up indie